Hey class, Mrs. Anderson here. This week we're going to continue with decimals, adding and subtracting today. So with adding and subtracting decimals, the key is that you line up the decimal and use placeholders, zeros when necessary. And then add and subtract like you typically would. So first you're going to start by at lining up the decimals. So we have 3.89 plus... 56.2. So notice that I've lined up the decimals. That's a key step to adding decimals. And then whenever you have an open space here, you're going to add in a placeholder of zero. And then you add starting from the right to the left. So you start with 9 plus 0 is 9. 8 plus 2 is 10, so you must carry the 1. Then we have 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10, so carry the 1 again. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then for your final answer, you bring the decimal point straight down. So 60.09 is your final answer, or 60 and 9 hundredths. So for the next one, we have 31.9 plus 12.9. Four, six, so 12.46. Put in the placeholder of zero and add from left right to left. So zero plus six is six, nine plus four is 13, carry the one, two plus one is three, plus one more is four, three plus one is four. Bring down the decimal, and your final answer is 44.36. Subtracting works the same way, but you might have to borrow. So first line up the decimals, 34.8, so 34.8, and then 2.5. So we make sure that the decimal points line up. And then you subtract from left to right. So this one I don't have to borrow. So 8 take away 5 is 3. 4 take away 2 is 2. I can put a placeholder of 0 there. So 3 take away 0 is 3. Bring the decimal point straight down, 32.3. Then this one. So lining up the decimals, 44.25, 21.18, subtracting. This time we start from the right, we have 5 take away 8. Since 8 is bigger than 5, we will need to borrow. You borrow from the 1 next to it, so the 2 is going to turn into a 1, and the 5 will turn into a 15. Then 15 take away 8 is 7. 1 take away 1 is 0. 4 take away 1 is 3. 4 take away 2 is 2. Bring the decimal point down. This table shows Gail's best running times for each day. Use the table to answer the questions. What was her total time for Monday and Tuesday? When I'm asking for a total, total means that you add the times. I'm asking for the total for Monday and Tuesday. So that was 24.5 seconds and 24.2 seconds. So lining up the decimals, 24.2, I can add those to find the total for the two days. So 5 plus 2 is 7, 4 plus 4 is 8, 2 plus 2 is 4. Bring down the decimal, and the total time was 48.7 seconds. How much faster did Gail run on Friday than Monday? If I'm asking for how much faster, I'm asking for the difference in time, and difference means subtraction. So Friday's time was 23 Point zero two seconds and Monday's time was 24.5 seconds. I'm going to start with Monday's time because it's a larger number, so 24.5 seconds minus 23.02 seconds. Notice how I lined up the decimal point again. Since I have an extra spot in the top one, I have to add a zero. And then starting from right to left, 2 is bigger than 0, so we need to borrow from the 5 again. So the 5 becomes a 4. The 0 becomes a 10. Then 10 take away 2 is 8. 
four, take away zero is four. Four take away three is one, and two take away two is zero. So bringing down the decimal, my answer is 1.48, which means that Gail ran 1.48 seconds faster on Friday than she did on Monday. Rounding can help us check our answers. If we round this to the nearest whole number, so that's a number without a decimal, then we can estimate our answer. So I'm gonna round these by looking at the number that's behind the decimal point. If it's a five or more, we're gonna round up. So for 23.7, since it's 0.7 is bigger than 0.5, we're gonna round that up to 24. Plus, similarly with 14.8, eight is bigger than five so we're going to round 14 up to 15. and then we can add these and if i add 24 plus 15 that equals 9 and 3 39. so my estimation for adding those two decimal numbers would be my answer would be really close to 39. rounding with subtraction so 45.8 is going to round up to 46 19.7 is gonna to round to 20. And 46 minus 20, if I subtract six minus zero and four minus two is gonna be 26. My estimate for that answer would be 26, which is an approximation, like a close guess to that answer. 5.8 rounds up to six plus 2.7 rounds up to 3, so my answer there would be close to 9. So if I took 5.8 plus 2.7, I should get an answer that's really close to 9. So 8 plus 7 is 15. Carry the 1. 5, 6, 7, 8.5. So you can see the actual answer, 8.5, is close to my estimate of 9. Try a few on your own. Get in touch with me if you need some extra help.